All right, we've just created an account for Mr. Bongo. And in this video, I'll show you how you can edit some of that information that you entered when you created your account and how you can change up some of the settings in Activate Good. So after you create your account, you can log back in. And once you've logged in, you can click this My Account button at the top here. To edit your profile and take a look at what you have now, click on My Profile. All right, now you can see the picture that we uploaded for Mr. Bongo, along with his phone number and email address. And you can see there's, uh, there's a bio section here that's empty. Now, once you log in, you can edit your bio. We don't put that on the registration form because we wanted to make registration really easy. But if you want to update your bio, this is where you would do it. So click on Edit Profile. And there are some other fields here that you can fill out as well. So for bio, why does Mr. Bongo volunteer? I think I do it for the bananas. Yeah, he's very motivated by the bananas. And uh, Mr. Bongo has a number of skills too. And so you can fill out this section here. And this, um, this helps us know a little bit more about you and will help us to match you up with opportunities that can utilize your skills. Uh, Mr. Bongo, I think he's pretty good at carpentry and he can definitely lift up to 40 pounds. Uh, if you want to select multiple skills here, you just want to hold command on a Mac or control and you can select more than one at a time. Oh yeah, that's right, Mr. Bongo has some legal skills, so let's select that one too. Alright, I'll click update. There we go. Now Mr. Bongo's uh, profile has been updated and you can see his bio here along with his skills that he entered. Um, now, let's see, there are a number of settings that Mr. Bongo can set on his profile as well. So if you click My Settings over here on the left hand side, this is where you would update your email address and phone and zip code if you need to. Maybe you move to another area of the triangle. And in this privacy settings area there's a question here that says do you want to show your public uh, groups in your profile? Now we'll get into groups later on, but basically there's a way for people who are also members of the groups that you're members of to look at your profile and you can choose to not show which groups you belong to uh, by changing this setting here. So if you're a very private person and you don't want people to see that information, you can block that right there. Now some nonprofits when they post their volunteer opportunities they plan to provide t-shirts at those opportunities. So if you choose to, you can set a t-shirt size here and that way the nonprofit will know uh, what size t-shirt to bring for you. You're free to not answer this question and in, in which case the nonprofit wouldn't, wouldn't have that info. Um, and this information sticks with your profile as well. So if you volunteer with uh, multiple nonprofits and you know, some of them uh, have t-shirts later on, then this information will be in there automatically. Uh, and every time you sign up for these opportunities that request t-shirt sizes, you'll be prompted for this information. So you don't have to answer it right now. You can choose to answer it after you sign up for your volunteer opportunity and you'll be, you'll be given a chance to update that info right there. So I'll click update because I changed that privacy setting. And there you go, that's pretty much updating your profile and your settings.